What is the eclipse going to be like, right? Everybody wants to know. I don't blame you. I'm going to answer that question for you right now. By the way, hard at work behind me, the one and only Danielle. There she is. <laughs> She's updating right now. Are you doing WBUR radio right now? All right, WBUR radio. You, you're, you've always heard her voice there for uh, the last couple of years. She's proud to give the forecast there, and you'll be able to hear her again with the storm that's going on. So let's go ahead and dive in and show you what's going on as we lead up to the eclipse. Again, just a reminder, uh, today we launched the new site. Here it is, One Degree Outside. You go there at the number one degreeoutside.com. Uh, you have all our latest posts. Just posted one about what's going on with the storm and the uh, the ping of ice and snow that's going on out there in some spots. You've got an interactive radio that shows up there as well. Many of you asking how to keep in touch with us on social media. It's uh, at one, the number one degree outside on Twitter and on Facebook, facebook.com slash one, the number one degree outside. So you'll find us there as well. All right, let me not delay any longer. In terms of the eclipse, here is the expectation. I've put in black the path of totality and noticed that almost the entire path is under some amount of clouds. Almost except for who? It's amazing. It's an eclipse miracle. It looks like we're going to end up with what ends up being a clear or mostly clear sky here in New England. There's the zoomed in view. There you can see unbelievable. The clouds are spreading into Buffalo. The clouds, at least high altitude ones, are in a Syracuse and Binghamton. I bet they'll see it out there though. Buffalo, maybe not. But here we are in New England, what are those clouds over the Cape? Are those are high altitude ones. We're not worried about those overall. This looks like a fantastic forecast that leads up. To the eclipse. So how do we get there and, and how does it all unfold? If you're curious to know more about that, let's dive in. First of all, here is the overview in terms of the weather pattern uh, on Monday itself. You've got a storm out across the central United States. You've got a storm out over the Atlantic and somehow, amazingly, we've got bridged high pressure, fair weather. We call it an anti-cyclone in the world of weather that's bridged from Hudson Bay all the way down off the Carolina coast and we are right underneath that axis. What's the chance of precipitation that day? Nothing. Nope. There you go. There's your chance of showers in the West. By the way, though, folks have been asking about leading up to the eclipse. What's it going to be like? Well, you'll notice on Saturday, we do have a, a good chance of at least a couple of showers popping up here. I don't think it's going to be a ton, but it certainly could be uh, some that'll be around for us. By the time we get along about Sunday, that chance of showers really, really diminishes for us overall. And then once we get to Monday, it's just entirely gone. Look at this. This is another fun product to look at just because I love to drive home the point that things are going to be great, right? This is your total hours of sunshine. And yes, that is a full day of sunshine that you're seeing. And look, again, it's mostly us. Well, admittedly, when you get out across some of the middle part of the nation, some of the clouds at least may be thin enough that they are able to get some sunshine. They're able to see some effects of the eclipse. But we are the one quarter of the nation. If you had told anybody who knows about meteorology, you know, years in advance, because, of course, we've been watching this for years, and we all the big joke has been, oh, yeah, New England in April. Good luck on not having clouds. It's amazing. Look at this. Incredible stuff overall for us here. Uh, a zoomed in view. You know, you can pick all different guidance products if you want. Uh, this is actually a pretty good product. This is the German guidance, uh, but you can pick a European guidance, and that has just a little bit of high altitude clouds. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to write home about. Overall, it's good stuff. Uh, we could pick uh, the American guidance. And with that, you're going to see, yep, there are the clouds coming in over Buffalo. Here's some of those clouds we looked at over Syracuse and, and Ithaca, but not over New England. It's amazing. Can it hold like this? It looks like it probably will. I mean, it's it, you saw for yourself, it's pretty well carved out. So right now, that's the expectation on how things are probably going to unfold for us. It's something to behold. It's something to look forward to. In terms of our maximum temperature, let's go out to, we'll go through each of the days. We'll go to Saturday uh, when we expect to find temperatures for most spots likely to be rising up into the uh, 40s in southern New England and probably 30s to around 40 in northern New England. Remember those pop-up showers, a possibility Saturday. By Sunday, we're up into the 40s around the Boston area. We're close to 40 for the rest of us. And and then on Monday, look at this, 55 to 60 degrees for Boston, for Providence, for Hartford. You may go into the 60s just south of Hartford, and you're talking about cooler air, but still a very nice day overall, 45 to 50, even across northern parts of New England. 
I have nothing but good news. Why belabor the point? There you have it. Uh, plenty to look forward to. If it changes, you can bet, of course, that Danielle or I will let you know. Happy eclipsing. <laughs>